So I thought it would be interesting to do a review of some of my most recent games. Um, some of these I've already looked over briefly, uh, and others uh, I just played now. I'm not sure how many I'm going to go through in one video, but I think it would be interesting to look at my reactions and try uh, try to uh, essentially go through what I was thinking and work on how I could improve. Plus, I think there's some cool stuff that happens that some people would be interested in, though probably not if you're above, like, 1,500. Um, so this game, this guy quit pretty early on because um, he kind of just lost to an early tactic and then immediately rematched me. So I started with a basic London, and he does the version where he matches. Um, and typically when I see that, I like to get into a position where I can play an early c4 uh, and knight here, potentially setting up this, going after this pawn, even queen here, uh, because this is undefended. That's typically what I like to do. But I'm very wary about the idea that if I push this up, and he gets this. He then has the option to take the knight, I take back, and then he comes here with check. It's very, very scary because I no longer have the pawn to block. Um, so I keep that in mind, watching to see, you know, if he's going to push this. Because if he does, I don't necessarily want to do that. But since he goes with the knight, and I don't have to worry about that combo, I feel completely safe to just play c4. He then pushes this, but now it's a little bit too late because I've already played c4. So I feel comfortable playing c5 and just making sure this bishop can never get out. Um, I could have also played the knight because then this wouldn't come with check and there's also no uh, early take. But I remembered from some lines before seeing that blocking this bishop from coming out is pretty good. Though I guess the engine doesn't really like it here. It says he has advantage. Um... But he's like, okay, well, I'm not going to let you have this. I'm just going to take it, take it, and I'm going to let my bishop come back. So my idea was simply, well, no, I'm going to fight you on this. Because if you continue, then I could just do this. And, um, oh, wait, this doesn't work. Because he absolutely can continue to fight me. And I actually can't do this to hold it. Because if he takes, I cannot take back because I lose my rook. I didn't see that in the middle of the game. Interesting, so that's why this doesn't work. That's why the engine doesn't like it. I thought I could just hold this and there's no problem. Uh, but what if I go here with check? And now, because he pushed up this pawn, he can't bring the knight to defend it. Oh, yeah, he could always put this knight or this knight here. Hmm, interesting. But I could swear I remember seeing lines where, like, where, where this is good. Maybe that's only the case if he'd already brought out this knight. Because then he can't do this without creating a weakness. Maybe. Okay. Interesting. I thought this was good, but I guess it's not. Okay. He attacks. I defend it. And he does not continue with the attack. He instead puts up the knight. And now, like I said, it's in the position where it's good. Because now I can just bring up the bishop. And I'm threatening this fork. And my idea here was not necessarily perfect, but I th uh, he took a while here, I remember. And I remember thinking, he has to play this. It's the only move that makes sense to me. And he did, but apparently it's not his only move. He could just try to kick out my bishop. Because, wait, why can he kick out my bishop? Can't he just take? And now I'm threatening this and this. And sh uh, why why is this not good? Because he can play bishop d7. Don't I just win the knight? Wait, I do win the knight, but apparently it's I'm plus five, and if he plays this, I just take it. Oh, it wants this because it's a fork. Okay, yeah, yeah. But this isn't as good because what my idea now... Oh, I should have just played queen a4, right? Just double into it, and he has... Well, no, he could still protect the knight again, though. He could protect the knight. Oh, no, wait. No, he can't. He has no way to protect this. Okay. That's much better than my idea. My idea was to bring the knight here and come here and double attack the knight this way. And he won't have time to fix it because I'm also hitting the queen, was my idea. And I thought it would take him two moves to remove this, but in one move I'm threatening the queen and it's already too late. 
Turns out, not the case, because he can fix it simply by doing this and saying, you have to either take it now or never. I'm not giving you another chance. In which case, oh no, but I still go here and I'm fast enough to threaten the queen. So it's still winning. Okay, yeah, I, I, I was winning this no matter what. This, this play here of putting the knight here was just awful for him, and I punished it. He thought he could get out of it by castling this way to, remo to break the pin, I guess, but you've already remade the pin with this. So I went here, and after thinking about it for a while, there's just no way he can protect from all of the threats. And he just resigned and immediately challenged me again. Okay, very quick game. And I thought it was a simple case of I outplayed him and just played very, very well. But apparently I didn't. Yeah, this this position where he blunders this, I need to make sure to do this. This is too slow because I can get kicked. Okay, so that's important to remember. Queen a4 is very strong in these positions. And other than that, I guess in these positions, if the knight's not here, don't lock this. Just go here. Since the knight's not here yet, I'll have my option to threaten this in a very scary way later. Because this, threaten this, yeah, yeah, okay. Interesting to know, okay. Uh, let's go to the next game. So the next game, <clears throat> uh, same guy, this time he gets to white pieces. So I do my standard, um, I try to set up the king's Indian type defense, or since he played this, I guess it's a perk defense. Whatever the case may be, uh, I do this. Now, very classic... Uh, trap here it's not really so much of a trap it, it looks like you can threaten this knight and after takes take the knight is still threatened but it doesn't work out because if you do this uh i take you have to take this and then i go here and i'm threatening this and this and i'm going to win the pawn back or not even win the pawn back i'm just going to straight up win the pawn because you have to stop this only way to do that is like that and then i'm going to take this pawn and i'm just going to be up um, so I t most people don't do this. Now, he puts out the knight, pretty standard, just defend the pawn. I continue with my defense. He decides to take the center, very standard stuff. And then he does this. Now, it's a little bit different here, because now when I do this, he can take with the knight. However, the point still stands that while I won't have this threat, I'm still going to go after this pawn. And now that your knight is here, you can't reinforce it with another pawn. And by moving this, I'm not just attacking it once. I'm attacking it twice. And if you push it forward, then I just go out with this bishop. So I'm just going to end up winning a pawn by the end of this. He, he thinks he can defend it because now it's double defended, double attacked. But it's not good enough because I can just go after an, it with the other knight. Um, and now that the queen's not here and the pawn structure in the center is kind of broken, normally in, these, in, in, in a King's Indian game, you want to put the knight on d7 but i thought it didn't make sense here to block in my own light tile bishop and i can just afford to go more aggressive since i'm going to be the one get, taking this pawn and here he decides well i'm not going to let you do that because i'm going to pin the kick uh pin it so i said okay i could just castle and break the pin but then he gets this this which is very ugly especially when we're going to so a pseudo end game here because there's no queen so i really didn't like the idea of that so oh okay only good move i guess yeah, the only move that keeps advantage, and I found it. Just go here, because now if he takes, I take, and yeah, I no longer have access on this pawn, but I'm threatening this to remove the defense of the knight, and then I could do it. Um, because even if I lose my defender, I will make sure he loses his as well. Now he castles. Now here, in hindsight, I, so I, I ended up taking like this. And I was thinking for a while, maybe it would have been better to take like this. Engine likes both. Okay. So I took like this. I was a little bit worried that him taking like this comes with check. So what I was worried about is if he takes like this, then like this, or then I take because I really want to make sure I defend this with a knight. And then I was like, oh, but if this, this, then this, and it comes with check. And I was like, and then I have to walk out and that's kind of ugly. So I didn't really like that. Engine apparently thinks it's totally fine. Really? Because what, inst what I did instead was after this and a taking with the knight, and he takes, I decided it made more sense to take this way. That way my king won't be forced to come out into the open, and now I'm attacking this and the rook at the same time. I thought this made more sense. Um, and it clearly threw him off because people tend to think, oh, we're attacking over here, so take, 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 and now of course you're going to take this. But no, this has opened up, and I think this take is just better. At least that's what I thought in the moment. 
The idea being, I remove this attack, I immediately get a double attack, and it won't make me drag out my king. Though, I guess since we're going to a near end game, maybe dragging out the king's not that bad, but I really wanted to get my rook to the open file and not blocked by my king. But I guess it liked this better. Okay, well, anyway... He is able to dodge both, of course, even though it's a double attack. Um, this is not the way I thought he would do um, dodge both. The way I thought he would do this when I played this move is I thought he would go here. And then I'd have this pin. Um, but he went like this. And I decided, okay, now I can castle and just try to get my rooks to the center and start pushing. Now, the rest of this game, I don't think I played that cleanly. But, well, let's see. Here, so this next move I remember thinking was pretty bad in hindsight. Um, this bishop, like anywhere I go with it, it's prone to being attacked. And I don't want to retreat it all the way down. I can't go here either. So I put it here, and I didn't like that because it allowed this and this damaging the structure. Now what did, so okay, I was right that it was a bad move. So what did, the engine wanted this. Why, though? Don't we get a similar thing after this? And the structure... Well, I guess the structure's not as damaged as it was before with double isolated. It's doubled pawns, but they're still connected. I guess that makes sense, and that immediately opens two files for my rooks to go to and attack this. Okay, that, that makes sense. I, I didn't consider just pushing this up. <clears throat> okay. So I threw away some of my advantage with that. But then, after letting him take this pawn... And he also gets this pawn... But I had this idea that if, uh, that if I let this happen, then I'm threatening this pawn with this diagonal, which is why I made this move. Even though I wasn't super happy with the damaging of my structure, I thought I could take advantage of the structure. The idea being, if he takes, I take, and now, like, as soon as this rook moves, I have this very disgusting, like, double attack. I'm threatening to just go here, and then, like, everything's gonna die. Um... So he moved the rook here to defend this pawn. Now, that's a blunder? That's... Oh my god. I didn't see this in game. I just saw it now. I swear I didn't look at the line. I, but I once I saw it was a blunder, I started looking around for why it's a blunder. It's a blunder because this knight's just free. And you can't take... Because it's checkmate. And even if it wasn't checkmate, like, even if, even if he, like, this pawn was up, you still can't take because you just lose a rook. Like, the pawn is pinned. And I just, I didn't consider that at all. Oh, I'm very disappointed that I missed that. I instead had a different idea. I had this idea that, um, it's a little bit of a trap. Like, if he thinks that he can just take another pawn... Then my idea was I could go here, and you can't take because mate. That was my idea. And oh, wow, that would have been a brilliant move had he made that blunder. But, and I was like, but instead, he just chose to trade off. And I said, okay, well, in this position, this is now a mate threat if this rook ever moves, which means his rook is now stuck on the back line. So I have other ideas. Engine says I've totally lost my advantage. Um, I still felt like my pieces were better placed, but... Damn, that's really disappointing. I had a much cleaner way of just winning this. I, I, this is, 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 I'll have to try to keep that in mind for these kinds of open board, long snipe, diagonal bishop moves. If you ever, that you can't just defend this because of that. Well, I guess it probably won't come up that much, but um, who knows? Maybe now that I've seen it once, I'll never forget it because wow, that feels really bad to have missed. Okay, whatever. The game continues. He moves the knight here. He clearly wants to try to go after these. But I decide I can go here and just attack the knight. Um, and then I have, this, uh, I have this idea that if the knight moves and stops defending this pawn... Well, because I was thinking of it once the knight moves, moved in general. Um, the bishop can now take this pawn, and this can't move because checkmate. That was kind of an idea. However, right now, this doesn't work because the knight's defending it. So my idea was go here, threaten the knight, and if the knight moves, then I could take this. However, when the knight moves here, it doesn't quite work because now he's threatening the rook. So I had two different ideas here. One was to go here, threatening this pawn, 
And then also, once again, I'm threatening this pawn again because you can't take because mate. So it's actually, going here would be a threat of two different pawns at the same time. The other move I had, and the one I actually played, was this. Going after the same pawn this way and the knight. Now note that I'm no longer uh, going after this because I no longer have the mate threat. Now I wonder, what does the engine think about this move as an alternative? It doesn't like it. Why doesn't it like it? Because he just plays c3 and now everything is stopped. Okay. Yeah, that just doesn't work. And it even stops this idea that I had here, going after this pawn. Because this is now held. Yeah, he just... Doing this. Okay, I'm glad I didn't do this then. This just stops everything. Okay, well... So I played this. Now he moved the knight here. And I realized he was going after this pawn. And I decided, you know what? It's doubled anyway. Go ahead. You can have it. This pawn is more valuable than this pawn. Um... And when he takes it, I then go here, saying that I can now take this. Now, in hindsight, in fact, not even in hindsight, during the game even, I, I considered the fact that I don't really want him trading off the rooks, because then we end up with a position where it's going to be a lot harder to mate and a lot more drawing chances. So I thought that it made more sense to do this. Does the engine agree? The engine does agree. Other option is to go for this pawn. Which I think is something I considered in the moment, but yeah, I, I, I remember doing this and not being super happy with it, because I was like, oh, but what if he just trades off? Maybe I'm not actually happy with that. But I was hoping, like, if he moves, like, if he moves somewhere else, then I get to take this. And if he moves to the corner to defend it, then that's also really bad, because I get to just go here, and I'm hitting both. And so that was kind of what I saw in the moment. So... Maybe maybe my problem is I try to play too many trappy moves, and they don't work because my opponent just doesn't fall for them. Well, either way, this is still a winning position for me, because my idea here now is that I'm just going to try to run this up for promotion. The thing is, I, bishops are better than knights in endgames in a lot of cases, if the board is very open, because they could just move across the board so much qu more quickly. So I decide... The only thing that might be a problem is his king coming to stop this. So I want to get my king in there first. And if I could do so with tempo, forcing him to move the knight, even better. So he does that. And now I felt that I get to move again, getting closer to my pawn, and the knight has to move again. So he goes here. And I'm like, okay, I can't go here because of, of uh, the knight. I could have gone here in order to threaten this and this, but I thought it made more sense to go up. Because my bishop can end up holding this later. And if my king can get here to hold this, then his king has no way to ever get in. And that was kind of my idea. Get the king to this tile and run up the pawn. He goes here, and I go, that's fine. Now I'm just going to run up the pawn so you can't take it. Interesting, why don't you like that? I mean, yeah, I could have defended the pawn, but I'm worried about his king coming in, right? Isn't that like an idea here? What's, what's wrong with this? King f1. But who cares? Then I just go here, and I, I walk my way up. Isn't this winning? Don't I get to box you out? Uh... Huh. He's gonna force me away. He's gonna go here. What if I go to the right and guard, guard it from this side? Or what if I go up? Yeah, and then he gets to take. Am I not able to hold this? No, I can't get my own, my own kings are going to be in the way. Well, can't I? Aren't I just... Oh, that makes sense, too. Don't I promote? I mean, I do. He then has to take, I'm sure. Oh, I'm too slow to stop this. Wow. So even though it works, he has enough time to... Okay. Interesting. I thought I'm faster because I'm already up, but if I play this way with my king and bishop holding, then I'm slowing myself down, which allows this. Interesting. Okay. 
But he doesn't do that. He instead moves this. I guess trying to get nearer. Maybe trying to go here to hold this tile. But I just go here. Threaten it. No, he wants to go... He doesn't go there. He goes here to hit the king. And I just go up. Again, continuing my idea. Engine doesn't like it. But I think... And you know what? Given the engine's lines, I think it makes sense that it doesn't like it. Because I'm just too slow. Given this. But... Against, against someone at this level, I guess it really worked, because, yeah, now he's just not in time to stop me. And here, I thought I could finally go down, because now it's too late for his king to get involved. And I want to stop the... <coughs> My idea of picking this tile in particular is these two tiles are the ones that let him hold this. And so, yeah, I could go up and make him trade knight for king, but then this pawn is still an issue. Granted, I'm no longer too late to do this, but I'd rather have a queen than uh, do this, like, win the knight and then have to win with bishop and pawns. Which, I mean, bishop and three pawns to three pawns, I, I will win it, but it will be a grind. <sighs> and that's if I don't choke. So at this point, I went for this. And yeah, knights are very tricky in the endgame. And at my level, I think a lot of people just don't know how to use them properly, myself included. They're very hard. The engine, of course, sees great defenses. But yeah, okay, very interesting game. Biggest takeaway, though. Uh, a, a couple takeaways. The biggest one being this move, like, it's too trappy. Like, yeah, I have these ideas of, oh, man, I get to... I get to do this. But sometimes I think I'm trying to be too clever for my own good. Like, it's you're not that clever, dude. He's just going to take, and this isn't really that good for you. And, I, and the thing is, I did the same thing over here, where I'm like, oh, but if you try to take the pawn, uh, yeah, but if you try to take the pawn, I get to do this, and I'm doing a mate threat. Like, yeah, it's fancy, it's flashy, but I, I'm, it's not necessarily winning. Uh, because he doesn't have to make that blunder. And then this just isn't as good. But also, admittedly, at least in this case, I give myself the excuse that I didn't see that this is just a free knight. But, God, what a nasty tactic. It's not even that complicated of one. I feel like this is something I definitely should have seen. I just, I didn't consider the idea that the pawn is pinned. I, I, I wasn't really thinking about pins in this context. I typically only think about them with respect to a king or a queen. And I think that's my problem. My, like, brain's internal, like, shortcuts. Okay. Um. Let's do one more game. It's been about 20 minutes. Yeah, this will be a, a decent length video. So this one... What happened in this one? Uh, okay, standard London. That's a weird move to play this early. I mean, if the knight were here and you don't like this, then maybe. But even then, that's it's just a weird move to play this early. Okay. So I continue my London setup. I get, this man, re, this man has gotten check, has gotten comboed by some tactics in the past, and is like never again. But like he's just giving me everything I want. Okay, that's a good move. Uh, very common against the London. But at this point, I I'm just way more developed than him, and he just he just takes immediately. So, okay, the idea here is the reason I play this is not because I care to defend the pawn this way, because if he takes, I do want to take this way. I'd much rather have this file open and keep this sealed, um, for reasons I might talk about later. But the much bigger reason is that if he chooses to lock the system, I want my bishop to be able to come back here. Because in the London, it's very important that I get to keep this diagonal in particular. Uh, and that's the main reason I play this. It looks like it's to defend this pawn, but it's not. It's to make sure my bishop has a, a tile to go to while keeping this diagonal. Otherwise, everything is, is uh, taken. Anyway, he takes, he does this. Then he brings out the knight. Now, I bring out my own knight. Uh, because I don't want... I, I, basically, I don't want this. I don't want his knight coming here and being really annoying. So I'm now double holding this position. If he jumps in, I take, 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 and this is completely fine for me. Okay. He doesn't want to do the longer diagonal and trade it with the bishop, so he goes there. Now I figure I can just castle. His, he hasn't really accomplished a whole lot. And this pawn has done com like absolutely nothing, because I have no intention of fighting on this side of the board. And he clearly wants to castle this way, and he does. And this is kind of like my dream scenario, because a lot of what I like to do in the London 
is just set up these kinds of attacks. And you're going to see that in this game, because now I remember uh, a little bit more about what happened this one. So I go here. Um, it controls... Uh, it's just a very nice outpost, but it also just opens up my queen line. Uh, admittedly, these can't be taken right now, but it's totally fine. He goes and threatens the knight. And I immediately put the queen here, because I, I, I have my plans. Engine wants this to go back. I have no idea why. There's no threat. He can't go after this bishop. Is it because it wants me, like, after I move the knight, to just go here and threaten this battery? Hmm, I don't know. He takes, but this is, uh, this is actually something I want him to do. Uh, because I'm going to take specifically with the pawn, not the bishop, because now this knight has to move. Which means he's no longer going to defend this tile, which means that that battery from earlier would have actually been great, because the knight doesn't hold. But I didn't know that he would be taking, so I had a couple of different ideas. Now, he went there, which is not where I was expecting. I was expecting this. But I said, okay, well, I'm going to move my queen here. And right after I did so, I regretted it and felt that I should put it here. The idea being that depending on where this goes, if I put it here, I get the option to, of going here. And my attack is essentially, the idea is, this pawn is now pinned. Like I said, I can see pins when it's for a king or a queen, but I didn't see it with the rook. And then, let's say he just makes a random move. This is the idea. You can't take this because of, uh, because of the queen pin, and this is now mate. Now, when I was considering this, I thought that depending on how he plays this, the ability to put the queen here would be very, very helpful. Um, because, why did I think that? I don't remember why I thought that, but I remember thinking that having the flexibility to put the queen here uh, would be very nice. To go after this pawn? No, but I can go after it this way. Oh! Oh! Maybe... No, but that doesn't work. I was going to say, maybe because after this, if I go after the pawn like this, he could go here. And I can't actually go for this. Wait, but no, but no. I could just go with the pawn this way. That doesn't make any sense. And furthermore, going here doesn't make sense because it would be taken. I, I had a reason. I remember thinking that I want th that I, I would have preferred this. Though the engine... Engine thinks it's fine, too. Okay, I, I, I don't remember the exact mindset I had, but I just I remember very strongly feeling like I wanted to go to like I should have gone to G four instead of G three. Whatever. He then moves the knight here. And yeah, it's a blunder for the reason that I immediately considered, and that's I can just kick your knight away. His idea is of course to stop this pawn from being pinned, so I can't do this. He needs to find a way to stop it. But this doesn't work because now I'm just gonna do this. And my idea is essentially I am going to keep finding ways to threaten checkmate, and I'm going to put you in a position where the only way you can stop checkmate is to sacrifice material. And then at that point, I'll just win through other means. Oop. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this, this does not stop my attack, because now he just moves out. And, okay, well, as we established earlier, I've specifically set up uh, circumstances so that he can't take this tile. And I thought he was going to immediately take back, and I would take, and then we would hold the pressure. But he instead goes here, taking the pawn now. And this is where I groaned and went, oh man, I was right about taking g4, but not for this reason. But either way, I now play uh, queen g4, thinking now he'll take, take, and I still have all of the same threats. Um, but I realized, I don't need to take back right away. Yes, my bishop is hanging. Twice. But... In between moves, this threatens mate. If I do this now, he gets a turn to try to fix this. Do it now before he gets the opportunity, and now he has to fix it in a little bit of a more uh, uglier state, and then I can save my bishop. So he goes here. Now, interesting, because the engine's thinking what I saw, because I remember thinking in the, in the game that the only thing I could think of to salvage this position for him is bishop here, I will take it, and then the queen can come in and hold. While also threatening the bishop. Um, and I remember thinking that that was his only option. And then after a long think, you can see he spent over three minutes on this play. He played this. 
And here I was like, huh, well, what do I do now? And then I said, okay, well, first things first, let's, uh, oh, I was going to say let's take the pawn, but no, I guess I took the rook. I guess I decided that I can take the rook, and if he takes this, I could go back and hold the threats. And if he takes this, then I could go here and, and, and continue pressure. But yeah, no, this just isn't good. I still have so many more threats. No, he should take this, and then yeah, he's going to be threatening promotion. But not really, actually, because I have double rooks holding. And then I wanted to go here. But he played a very bizarre move. I don't know what this was. I just take it with the rook. I think he wanted that if I take it with the king, I, he could go like this. I think that was his idea. But I was like, okay, I'm just going to take that with the rook, and there's nothing here. So then he's like, okay, well, now I'm going to take your pawn. Now, it's worth noting, something I saw when I reviewed this game back then was this is just by far the better move because this bishop has the disgusting idea of the threat being this. And if you take, it's just mate and there's nothing you can do. And, yeah, I, I didn't consider that if he pushes this up, this bishop is not stopped. Not at all. This queen works very well with either bishop, depending on which one he wants to fight with. I did not see that idea, which is why I was willing to give up the bishop. But anyway, after taking this bishop for completely free, I have no idea what the hell this was, uh, and then him getting to take this bishop... I simply move my bishop back because I like the idea of restricting his king from leaving because I still have ideas now. I have my knight, able, uh, my rook able to go after this. Um, wait, interesting. Did the engine just say that it should do this? Doesn't that just hang a rook? What is... Is the idea of this this? Oh! Rook f1! And then... King e8. I can't take this because of the bishop. Go here. Oh my god, the computer is so disgusting. What does it want next? Uh, maybe? No, um, what does it say? Queen d3. Oh my god. And now he has to keep running. And I win the queen. And what if he just goes here? Bishop d6. b6 here and I win the queen. Uh, no, wait, because then he can just go back. Uh, d4. Oh my god. Okay, the computer is seeing some, like, crazy line where I can just hunt him down to the ends of the earth. Okay, well, I did not... Uh, needless to say, I didn't see that. What a ridiculous move. This move looks like it makes no sense to me. I mean, I get the basic idea, which is hang the rook in order to get this attack. But that's, that's a little bit too fancy for me. I don't want to lose that much material. Admittedly, it would go back to neutral, given how he played this. But I said I'm going to go here and keep the king trapped in this corner. With the idea that maybe I can, you know, add some threats like this. He goes here, and I think he thought it's defended by the queen, and he could just put up more threats later, with the idea being it's defended by the queen right now, so you can't take it or you lose a rook, and next turn I'll promote, and then if you take, I'll take, and I win a rook for a pawn. But, so I was like, no, that's not the case, because it's defended by the bishop. And at this point, he's really low on time, because he spent a lot of time thinking to counter some of these like crazy attacks I was doing. And so I guess he just didn't see it. And then I'm kind of surprised he didn't resign at this point, but I decided I'm just going to go right back to blocking this off. He puts the rook here. Engine thinks this is a little bit better because it also threatens the rook for a different kind of mate. Uh, but my idea was essentially I'm just going to wiggle in. And at this point he realized mate in one is coming. This cannot be stopped. And it's just checkmate. Okay, so let's go back to some of these crazy ideas here. Um, 
I, this is one of the things I love about the London is that if they castle into it, there's a lot of like really fancy attacking ideas here. Uh, between the queen coming in, in some lines, if the uh, maybe if the bishop got dragged back, there are lines where you could play f4 and bring the rook into attack. Um, and and I, I love the London because a lot of the, these games come down to can I find a, a, a way where I'm just tactically better than you and come up with a devastating attack. And I find that to be a lot of fun. So in this position... Why? I, I'm trying to remember why I wanted to go here. Um, okay, maybe I wanted to go here because in the idea that he plays this, I can go after this pa pawn? Because if... Wait. Sorry. If this and he plays this, what was my plan? I can, this doesn't work because it's all defended. I could bring the bishop back. What is the best move here? Oh, <laughs> it wants this. Oh, wait, he can't take it. The bishop's not hanging. But the it wants me to go for this. And he has no way to block it, really. Or no convenient way, at least. Interesting. That's pretty funny. Um, it's really bothering me. I remember in the moment thinking that I wish I could do this to have access to this square. Maybe the idea was after this, 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 I'd like to go here. No, but I don't remember. Either way, I think this was a very interesting kind of game. Now, was I worried about this? And, then, and I wanted the ability to go here? No, because then I would just hang my bishop. Whatever. I thought I, I thought I came up with something. But if this, this, what was my plan? Probably take, and then however he takes back this pawn, and look to bring in the rook, as as a uh, as I talked about earlier. And then of course knight has to go back. Oh, I guess it doesn't. All right, interesting. Well, I guess that'll be it for this video. I hope uh, you found something interesting. Next time, maybe I'll go through some games that I lost, though. Th those don't make me look as good. You know, I gotta always show the wins. Alright, I'll stop here.